Hey guys, Joe Hildreth here from MyHeap.com. So I haven't uh, put out a video in a couple weeks and it's not because I'm not doing anything or that I, I uh, don't want to. I really do, but um, I've been uh, trying to get my shop, excuse me, <coughs> I've been trying to get my shop buttoned up. Uh, all the walls are insulated now. Uh, all the ceiling is up. Um, um, insulation is blown in. Uh, the air unit is starting to cool it down and starting to dry it out. I still have the floor to put insulation in and I like to run some electrics and stuff like that down in the uh, basement. But as far as the main shop area here, I still have uh, uh, about, uh, I don't know, maybe 12 feet of wall uh, to uh, put some ply bead on and I have a 220 circuit that I want to run. So the place that I'm sitting here right now will be the home of my CNC machine, but I thought that um, I would uh, pan around and show you guys what I've been doing and I'm looking for some suggestions so maybe you guys can help me out here. Um, you know I do a little bit of woodworking obviously you know with the CNC routing uh, and stuff like that and of course I'm gonna have machine tools and um, so you know my wife um, who I love more than anything in the world right but she wants her basement back so bad she can taste it. She says look Bertha has got to go out to your shop or I'm gonna pay somebody to haul it off while you're at work. You know, so that was kind of scary. No, just kidding. Um, so I, I need to uh, get my um, Atlas lathe out here and I have a uh, Burke number four uh, horizontal mill that was donated to me um, by a very, very kind man um, who asked to re re remain anonymous. But again, I thank him for that donation. So that needs to come out here and uh, you know, I need to build a bench for it and um, and then start, uh, you know, getting this machine reconditioned. As a matter of fact, I think uh, Peter from PGS, when I uh, kind of give a little sneak peek of that, he's like, uh, hey, I, I'd kind of like to see a, a, you know, closer look at that mill. And, and I told him, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. And, and it's not, Peter, it's not that uh, I didn't want to. I just, it's kind of slipped my mind, you know. Uh, but anyway, so I, I have a shop here that's going to be half wood. Um, half metal working or a little bit of both. So my thought is that uh, I would probably isolate uh, or put the uh, uh, the woodworking um, tools that I have, the few that I have. Uh, ban uh, you know, I have a uh, I have a bandsaw, I have a table saw, and I have my CNC router. You know, uh, chop saw that sort of stuff. Anyway, put it down at one end of the building, and then the other end of the building, put my metal working stuff. And then I'm thinking that uh, maybe. Um, you know, when I'm not using the lathe or, or the milling machine or whatever, uh, just to throw a sheet over them to keep any uh, stray uh, wood dust. So, what are your guys' thoughts about that? You think that'll work okay? I mean, my shop is uh, 20 uh, by 24. It is absolutely full of junk right now. Uh, so, I need to um, I need to uh, start some organiz organization. And so I'm, I'm looking for some ideas uh, to, uh, for shop organization. So if you want to, uh, you know, take a, a little video of uh, some of the st uh, some of your organization in your shop that maybe I can borrow from, that would be great. Um, or if you have some ideas uh, uh, that I can do with my shop, my shop has 10 foot ceilings. Okay. Um, so I mean, I give you a 20 by 24 feet by 10 foot ceiling. So I will. Uh, I'm going to give you a pan around. Uh, so that you can see uh, wh what I've got done and and where I'm going and and hopefully I don't make you too uh, you know I don't make you seasick with the camera, so um, sit tight. <clears throat> okay, so I don't know how much you're going to be able to see here, but here you'll uh, we'll pan around the ceiling here. You'll see that it is all in, including my uh, access panel. I have R38 blown up in the ceiling, um, but it is it's all done. So uh, let me pan around the shop. So just I have uh, six foot uh, double uh, steel doors that uh, enter into the shop here, and uh, maybe I can back up where we can actually see see them all. I don't know. Oh, there we go. So I have uh, uh, steel double doors that enter the shop. Just to the left of it, my ply bead starts. There you see the uh, uh, the, the my air handler for heating and air. And there's the corner. So there, uh, the dark red and black machine. That's my CNC machine. There's a drywall lift that I got to uh, hang the uh, um, the stuff on the ceiling. 
So you see that it's really junked up. I, my table saw is buried under there somewhere. I've got, uh, you know, I've got tools and, and containers down there on the floor. Uh, you know, I just got stuff everywhere. I have a have a, a metal storage rack there that I got some stock in. I got stock uh, leaning against the wall. I've got wood, steel, and aluminum back there. I have a metal cabinet here that uh, I plan on using to put uh, volatiles in. You know, paints, uh, thinners, and that sort of stuff. Uh, back there in the corner, there's a bench um, that uh, will be dismantled because it's uh, too large to use what I need to use it for. Of course, toolbox. Uh, there's a little Dunlap six-inch lathe. Um, I'm going to ask my son if he wants it. I doubt that he does, but I would like to find a home for that. And uh, I believe um, I'd be willing to give it away. So. Uh, but I, I really want to ask my son if he wants it first, you know, kind of give him dibs. So over here, you know, we're uh, I'm gonna try to back up and move around. So here we're in the corner of the shop, and then of course this wall, and you might remember my shop porn that I had on the wall, and then of course I have this bench that I built. Now um, uh, this little part right here, I, I'm targeting specifically toward uh, Peter uh, from PGS and Chirpy. Um, so this little um, bench that I made here, it's about, um, it's about 40 inches tall. I made it a little extra taller. It's got my vise on it. Uh, you can see the corner of my granite uh, plate peeking out there. Um, this is a uh, Uncle Dave Gingery uh, shop project uh, that uh, I made just out of scraps laying around. And I tell you what, it's a, it's a nice little bench. So I think I'm gonna build another one of these sometime. And then of course over here, you know, I have a commercial uh, vacuum pump down there and then uh, a vacuum uh, pot chamber uh, for some vacuum casting. And then of course, you know, I have, uh, I have these little bins here for, for uh, nuts and bolts. And then over here is where my service is at. I still got to put a 220, I got to run a 220 uh, 50 amp circuit down here in the corner. That'd be for my welder and stuff like that. So guys, uh, let, me, uh, let me get back here and I'll finish up. Okay, so that's what I've been working on the last couple weeks, trying to get this place uh, uh, insulated and dried up and everything so that I can start uh, using the shop out here. So, um, uh, guys, I, I appreciate uh, everything that you've uh, done for me, the help that you've offered, the advice that you guys have given. Uh, it's, been, it's been great. So, um, I, do, I will have more videos coming out. I have more on the CNC um, series that I want to put out. It's just... It's just it's been fine in time, just haven't had any. So enough whining from me. Uh, again, thanks, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thank you for uh, your subscriptions. Uh, thanks for your help and your gifts and everything that you guys have done for me. I appreciate it. So um, other than that, have a blessed day.